Well, for it being October, the weather is still looking pretty warm. Tomorrow's high will be 79 with a chance of showers. It looks beautiful for family weekend with a high of 79 on Saturday and 80 on Sunday. Monday will be cloudy with a high of 76. Temperatures will drop slightly with the high being 72 on both Tuesday and Wednesday. There is also a 50% chance of rain on Tuesday. Thursday will also be a bit cooler with a high of 69. Back to you guys. Thank you, Katie, for that weather report. In recent entertainment news, Miley Cyrus is making quite the name for herself. But let's not forget about Mr. Popular himself. Justin Bieber was also in recent headlines for charges pressed against him. With both these stories and more on entertainment, up next is our very own reporter, Kyle Pegalow. Thanks, Bree. These are this week's top entertainment stories. Many pop fans are still buzzing about Miley Cyrus' documentary that aired last night on MTV. Miley the Movement brought fans into the studio with Miley as she recorded new music, chatted with idol Britney Spears, and promoted her upcoming new album, Bangers. The document documentary was a huge social media success last night as it was a big trend on many social media sites. If you happen to miss the praise document, document, documentary, there is still time to catch it for a deluxe edition of the film will air on MTV at 8 p.m. on Sunday. Bangers is due out on October 8th and is available for free streaming on iTunes now. Miley Cyrus is not the only music artist getting work done in the studio lately. Chris Brown sent music fans into a frenzy last night after posting a video of himself working in the studio with one-time rival Drake. The video Brown released was a two-minute montage of Brown working with some of the biggest artists in hip-hop and R&B for his upcoming album, X, one of them being Drizzy Drake himself. Last week, the two artists squashed their feud of two years backstage at the iHeartRadio Music Festival in Las Vegas. LA district attorneys have rejected both cases targeting Justin Bieber this week, one for spitting on his neighbor and another for speeding just outside his LA neighborhood. As for the spitting incident, Bieber's neighbor actually saved the saliva that Bieber spit at him, but it was not enough for any sort of prosecution. The neighbor also told police that Bieber used some very harsh and violent words towards him. But since the neighbor had entered the property without invitation, Bieber's actions did not rise to the level of criminal threat. As for the speeding incident, it was caught on tape that Bieber was not driving the car that was being questioned at the time of the incident, but was rather riding a motorcycle behind it. Former Glee star Corey Monty, who died this summer, had reportedly been doing heroin and drinking at the same time, which eventually led to his death on July 13th of this year. When responders arrived to the scene, they found Monty's body, as well as spo a spoon with drug residue on it, a used hypodermium needle, and two bottles of champagne. Monty's official clause of death has been listed as mixed drug toxicity involving intravenous use, intravenous use of heroin used combined with the invest ingestion of alcohol. He was 31. There is a comedian rapper feud brewing in the entertainment world. After making fun of a Kanye West interview on his late night show, Jimmy Kimmel received many shots from West making fun of his physical appearance, sexuality, and his relationship with comedian Sarah Silverman. All these fired shots took place on, the Twitter, on a Twitter tirade by West. West said that Silverman was a thousand times funnier than Kimmel, and the whole world knows it, and also commented by saying that Kimmel was out of line in trying to spoof the first piece of honest media in years. West then reportedly called Kimmel and told him that he had to apologize publicly on his show. The day after Kimmel went on his late show and stated that he was now, in fact, in his very first rap feud. West's tweets have since been removed from his Twitter page. 
Well, thank you for that, Kyle. There is a new installment in the Maya Lab in Blake Hall. The Springfield College Visual Arts Program has recently acquired a 3D printer that is capable of printing physical objects. The printer heats up plastic or other materials before layering them to make the desired object. The printer is restricted to making smaller items now, but the VAPA department is looking to make bigger and better objects later on in the year.